so this lesson is a start for a uh, topic of inheritance in Django and today we will uh, go through the topic of inheritance from the abstract class so what it means is that for example if uh, uh, we have a class person and we don't really want to use it so we don't want to uh, create objects of the class person but uh, we need to inherit from it and use it uh, for other classes uh, where we will actually create the objects we can define this person class as abstract and that would mean that we are not able to create the objects of it so to do that uh, we just need to add this abstract option as true in uh, meta class so yeah uh, we define that the class is abstract uh, using the meta options and then after that we can create for example student and I don't know student will have study program and we will also for example be able to add teacher and teacher will have for example uh, research And so, uh, basically, student will have birth year, death year, and study program. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not really uh, appropriate right now, so I will delete death year from the previous lesson. So anyway, uh, the student will have study program and the birth year, and the teacher will have uh, research and a birth year. And also, uh, these two classes, which inherit from the class person, they will also inherit from the meta class. Of course, they will not inherit this abstract property. Uh, they will not uh, do it. But for example, if you define ordering by birth year, uh, these guys will inherit that too. If you want to actually redefine meta class, you can do it. For example, like this, you can just delete all the um, all the meta options, so you can choose to not actually uh, not actually inherit meta options. But if you want to inherit uh, these meta options and add some more to it if you want to uh, you need to subclass this meta options by persons met meta and then for example you can add database table which will be student table for example so in this case you will actually uh, you will actually have a ordering and db table uh, in this uh, meta class for students there are also some problematic stuff that you might not want to actually inherit for example uh, for example this uh, db table like you don't want to define a db table for a person and then just let a teacher and student uh, basically inherit uh, this value of db table so you need to be careful with some stuff and one more thing that you need to be uh, careful with is actually um, relations between models for example uh, let's say that we have Uh, university place 
and here we have name well let's just uh, leave the name of the university and then for example a student will have several uni places but also teacher will have several uni places so we need to actually define it in a class person uh, so here we define that the person will have a uh, few uni places and we need to be careful with related name if you want to define it uh, because it will also be inherited here all right so student will have places and teacher will, and teacher will have places uh, but the related name uh, will be inherited too so in order to not inherit the same related name we actually can pass some stuff uh, to the string as application label and class and uh, in this case for example as we are in models guide uh, this related name will be models guide person related but for our student for example this related name will be models guide student related and here it will be models guide teacher related so basically we will, we will inherit these uh, places but the related name will be actually different so i have just opened a shell and i imported all the stuff here so let's now play a little bit with this so for example let's try to create the object of the class person and we shouldn't be able to actually do it Yes, and we have an error because this uh, class is abstract. Uh, but we should be able to actually create student. And again, student inherit this birth year. And it's okay. And we can create teacher. And it's also okay and apart from that uh, let's create one uh, uni place for example yeah let's create just one uh, university we will call it uni actually yeah okay anyway let's let's uh, keep the name though it's not really recommended to do it in plural form but let's just keep it for now objects create name uni and let's for example student places i think it was append no it's not append it's at yeah Okay, so we added this place to student and let's add it to teacher. So now we kind of can uh, we can see the places of the student and the teacher, but what is important in is actually related name and i hope i got this correctly so let's uni models guide teacher related yes uh, 
and you can see now that we use this related name for the uni place and using this related name we can actually see the teachers which are associated with this university and the same can be said about student and we can also see student and these related names are different though they were inherited from this uh, guy but they are different because uh, it's based on the app class and the class app label and the class and it works